Hello! During the past couple of days I have been trying to figure out how to create complex 3D levels for my games in the Godot game engine. I have found that it's quite difficult to put together levels that contain a lot of objects inside the Godot 3D editor itself because of the various difficulties with selecting objects and navigating large scenes. Godot is really great, but I thought that it would be more convenient to design levels in more specialized software and then import them into Godot. Most people seem to be using Unity very successfully for this purpose, and my favorite tool is Scientific Houdini, which is incredibly powerful and has amazing tools for generating levels procedurally, as well as convenient interface for just manually putting together assets. It took a little bit of figuring things out, but now I think I have found a workflow that works very well, and in this video I will share it with you. I will tell you how to export Unity assets and uh, full levels into Godot. I will tell you how to export Unity assets you have bought in a Unity store into Houdini, uh, where you can assemble them into levels and then export levels from Houdini into Godot. And as a bonus, I will show you how I have exported my procedurally generated terrain project into Godot, and it also worked quite well. So let's get started. First of all, I have managed to find two convenient ways of exporting assets from Unity. First way is GLTF exporter from Platar, and second one is OBJ exporter from Unity Asset Store. GLTF is a new fancy format for sharing 3D objects. It's new and it's preferred by Godot as an exporting format. Most people seem to be using Blender to export these files, but apparently you can export them from Unity without any problem, and Houdini has its own GLTF exporter that works extremely well. You will be able to find the links to these projects in the description of this video. GLTF exporter is very easy to install. You go to releases, download Unity package, and inside the Unity, you just go to assets, import package, and import this uh, file. After that, you might need to restart the Unity, and you will see a menu called Platar that contains a GLTF exporter. When you click on it, you'll be able to use this panel to select objects that you want to export. and then simply export them into Godot project uh, with one click of a button. One problem with this tool is that it for some reason compresses files as a zip archive, so after you export it you have to uncompress it, but it doesn't take, take a long time to unpack the archive. After you have unzipped your archive into your Godot project folder, it will contain a bunch of materials, a bunch of textures, and a GLTF scene that you can just open and browse. Because uh, all this list of materials and textures may look kinda messy, I recommend creating a materials and textures folder and just dragging the materials and textures into them. As long as you do it using the file system, uh, Godot will correctly update all of the paths and settings so that uh, none of the links uh, between objects and textures will be broken. So to edit a GLTF scene, you need to click open anyway, and then save it as a separate copy of a scene. Then you will be able to move around the objects and uh, make any changes you want. Okay, great. The next thing that I want to show you is how to export assets from Unity to Houdini and then assemble them into levels in Houdini and then export from Houdini to Godot. So after you install the scene OBJ exporter from the asset store by clicking this button, you will see an export menu over here. It will allow you to export any selected assets as an OBJ format. Here you need to make sure to click only selected objects, otherwise it will automatically start exporting the whole scene and it will take a long time and generate gigantic files. That way you can export prefabs or assets one by one and individually pull them into Houdini. But of course it's not the most convenient way to go about doing things. If you are buying an asset pack from Unity Store, you probably will want to export all of the assets in the pack into Houdini. To do that all you need to do is create an empty scene then open the directory that contains all of your prefabs and select all of the prefabs and drag them into the empty scene. It will look kinda like this, for example this scene contains all of the buildings in this asset pack. And then you will want to export this scene. So you uncheck uh, only selected objects and you export all of the assets into one file. After that you will be able to simply open them in Houdini. I want to take you through my setup to show you a few tips on how to make the process more convenient. So here I have created a Houdini asset that pulls in the exported Unity geometry. First we have a file uh, that opens this whole uh, gigantic OBJ that contains all of the assets. Then I use delete node which allows me to select objects by name. Here I choose delete non-selected and now I can uh, select an object by name 
from the list of all of the available assets and this node will delete everything but the selected object. The next step is to assign it a material. Here we have a regular material node and a material subnetwork and we assign it a principal shader. Principal shader is important because when you are exporting GLTF from Houdini, it will automatically pick up all of the settings that you have in principal shaders and assign them in a GLTF file so that when you open the object in Godot, all the textures and materials will be there. Here I just switched to the textures tab and selected the texture from the asset pack. By the way, if you want to figure out which texture is assigned to the object, you simply select it in Unity and in the inspector you look at its material, you can right click and uh, open the containing folder. That way you will find which texture to assign. So basically that's enough to import a, an object into Houdini. But there's one more thing that I want to tell you and uh, that's generation of collision geometry. I've been thinking about automatically generating colliders for Godot so that everything is imported automatically. So I have used ISO offset node and then convert to volume node. Then I have added poly reduce to reduce even polygons even more. It's obviously not a very precise and I'm sure there are smarter and better way to simplify geometry. Uh, but I just want to point out that you will be able to use any tool available in Houdini to uh, modify geometry however you want. And then uh, it is possible to automatically export colliders that will be automatically set up for you in Godot after the import. So anyway, uh, this setup is an asset and I have added parameters to the asset for conveniently opening the uh, file where we have exported the buildings, uh, for conveniently selecting, selecting the objects that we want and for selecting the textures. Now, in order to export collisions, you will need to create a second object inside the subnetwork and call it whatever name you want and then add dash call only. This part of the object name will tell Godot to generate a set out of the geometry that's in the, inside of this node. And this node simply uses object merge to take the collider geometry from here. So basically, uh, this just uh, loads the file and creates regular geometry and a collider geometry. And this collider geometry from here is being imported over here. It's done because you need a separate object named call only for Godot to understand that this is a collision geometry and automatically create all the nodes in Godot editor. So that's basically it. Now if I want to add an object to my level in Houdini, I just drop the asset I have created. I move it around. I select the specific objects that I want. By the way, in this asset pack, some objects are made out of different pieces of geometry. So here I had to select geometry for a building and for the growth around it. And instead of doing that, you can simply use templates. For example, this building starts with SA BLD Church. And then uh, there's a part of the objects that is a damaged building. And there's a part, part of this object that is grass and bushes around it. Instead of selecting two objects, I can simply use a template by typing a star over here. And uh, it will import everything that begins with this uh, file name. Now on to exporting objects from Houdini. You can create a render output network and simply create a node, a GLTF. It allows you to pick the uh, place where you want to export your files. Uh, that would be inside of your Godot project so that everything gets imported automatically. And you select the root node, which will be the parent of all of the objects inside the Godot scene. Because you will probably want to import multiple objects, it's best to create a null node and parent the objects that you want to this root node. And then in GLTF exporter, you select this null. After that, you just click render to disk. And whenever you update this scene, you click render to disk again and everything will get automatically imported into Godot. So whenever you add something to your scene, like for example, this new building, you parent it to the root node. You go to GLTF, click render to disk. Everything automatically gets reimported into Godot. And if you open the scene, it now contains our new building. Finally, I wanted to tell you that besides just manually creating levels in Houdini or in Unity, you can also do all sorts of smart and creative procedural generation things that Houdini is capable of. For example, recently I have created a tutorial about generating infinite procedural terrain. If you want to see how it's done, you will find the link to this tutorial in the description of this video. And now that you have a complete scene generated entirely in Houdini, you can very easily export it with GLTF node to Godot. So basically everything is pretty much the same. One thing I needed to do for this particular project is to bake point colors into a texture. 
it's a whole separate subject so i don't need to dwell well on it on the, in this tutorial but basically uh, this project didn't use textures it just created uh, the colors of all the trees and mountains procedurally so i needed to install something called game developer toolset that is a goodini shelf that contains all sorts of useful tools and one of these tools is a simple baker which allowed me to bake the point color into the texture and that allowed me to import the colors to Godot. I have uh, assigned this object a material, just a principal shader. Remember, it's important that it's a principal shader that contains this texture. And then it has automatically exported everything and Godot automatically picked up on the texture and everything, everything worked great. In conclusion, I have this awesome, powerful, amazing workflow for creating my Godot uh, 3D game levels. I'm really excited about it, and now I can use all of the assets from Unity Store inside Godot, and also all of the procedural power of Houdini, and I think that is awesome. I'm pretty new to Godot and to Unity and to game development in general, so if anybody has better ideas or some uh, creative tips and advice on creating levels uh, for Godot, uh, please share them in the comments. Also, if anything is, is unclear, ask me questions and I will do my best to help you out. Anyways, I hope you have found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you in my next video.